Hey guys, happy Monday. It's your boy Brett up here at the Top Shop. Brits laughing at me right now. So I'm gonna put her on there. Michelle's on there. Wanted to shoot a video letting you guys know that I've been right where you guys are. Rock bottom. Just starting off. Just getting things going. Just beginning your journey in business, in relationships, in your training. I've been right where you are. And it sucks while you're there, but it's an important part of the process. You gotta start where you're starting. Don't try and jump ahead too quick. I didn't always have an office. I didn't always have people around me helping me out. I didn't even have you. No. I didn't have you. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have a car. To get here, I used to get dropped off at the gym. Everybody thought I was cool that I had a gym. But I was actually getting dropped off at the gym. I didn't have an apartment. Did I have an apartment? No. Didn't have my own apartment. Didn't have any of it. You know, I had to do it in business. No customers. I didn't, don't have customers when you start the business. I started getting customers pretty quick. Actually, my first customer that I ever got, Jim Mayo. My uh, my consultation didn't show up. I was in a suit for a fitness appointment. I was in a full suit. I had a leather briefcase. It's a true story. Al was with me. Al, I'll take you in it. You know you were there. So we go to show up, and Jim Mayo's not there. Or actually, no, excuse me, my consultation's not there. So we're gonna go get a workout. You know, we're gonna turn lemons into lemonade. So we go in the, in the, in the locker room and stand in there in my underpants, getting ready to go work out. And this dude comes up and goes, hey, yeah, I've been seeing your guys' ad. Are you guys, did you start training here yet? We said, yeah. And he said, oh, I wanna sign up. So he signed up for, I think, like $1,400 personal training package, so. Even though we started with nothing, again, we had nothing. But if you just get started and just forget about the fact that you're just starting from nowhere and you just start, good things will happen. So yeah, we were in the black right away, making money, uh, training clients, getting getting experience. Jim was a great, great customer too, marathon runner. He used to send him uh, smoothie recipes every day. And he would make me Metallica uh, CDs. Isn't that funny to think that people would make mixtapes on CD? <laughs> and uh, great customer, but I think a lot of people, a lot of you guys out there are just starting off and you're struggling with the fact that you have to start somewhere and you may not be like in the best shape ever, but you wanna get in shape, just start. You wanna start a business, you wanna start, I was just talking to a guy in here tonight, one of the Swain trainers. Talking about he wants to start investing in real estate. Do it, man. Do it. Getting up there. But I think a lot of you guys out there are just worried about where you're at, what other people think. And you just gotta get started. You gotta, you gotta write out your goals every day. You gotta start where you're starting at. I had to do it with fitness too. I had to start off, I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't know how to work out. I didn't know how to eat. I thought I was a, a hard gainer. I had a guy yesterday reach out on Instagram and say, you should make a video about hard gainers. There's no such thing. They're just under eaters. People who don't take enough action. They don't lift hard enough. They don't lift heavy enough. They don't know what they're doing. They don't eat enough. Um, but that's okay because they're rookies and they don't know what they're doing to start off. So there is no such thing as a hard gainer. That'd be like being like, I wanna get my finances right. I wanna make more money but I'm a hard gainer with my finances now. It's just you're not taking enough action, you're not doing enough of the right things to stack paper yet. So, I had to do it with fitness. I didn't know how to work out, didn't know how to eat. I'd read all the magazines. I'd be in school, I'd be in exercise physiology class, reading other things to actually learn something. Self-taught for the most part. College didn't help me out much. I don't know about any of you guys. Let me know, drop a comment if college actually helped you out quite a bit, but I learned a lot more from my own studying. What do you think about college, Britt? <laughs> I don't think it's helpful. It's not helpful? No, I didn't go to college. 
college? You didn't go to college, but you're doing pretty good, I'd say, right? Stacking about 10, 20 every, every month is pretty good. Easy. Easy. <laughs> right? You, I mean, you definitely don't need college, but you got to start. Re- but you did, you did you start your business? Did I start Did you just start it? Yeah. Was it risky? Yeah. But did you start it? Yeah. Was it scary? Did you know everything? Did you know everything? No. Did Was everything perfect? No. But I had customers. <laughs> right, but you got started. Right. And then more more came, right? Yeah. So it's a little tough. You just gotta show the world what you can do and then floodgates just keep coming. <laughs> they right. Never stop. Right. So things get good. And it's not it's not about bragging on money or doing anything like that. It's about bragging on starting when you have nothing, have no money, when you're getting dropped off at the gym. When I was small, I was like 155 pounds. I didn't know what to eat or how to train, but I learned. I, I, I got after it. I took action. I didn't know what I was doing. I had to do that, um, you know, in, in my relationship with Michelle. I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to treat somebody the right way. So I'm, I was reading. I was studying. I was doing things. I had to get ready, right? She's over here. La- she's over here laughing like it ain't true. No, it is true. It is true. Dude's guide to marriage. The dude's guide to marriage, that's one. The dude's guide to manhood, because you got to man up, right? And when you don't know how to do something, that doesn't mean you shouldn't ever do it. But that means that you should take action and start. At a certain point, you got to start. You just got to get after it, try it out. And I think there's a lot of you guys out there that have a lot of big dreams and big goals. There might be a little business you want to start. You might want to get into the gym. You might want to start to save up for some purchase. Hopefully it's not a single family house. Not a good investment. Hopefully I get people who watch it and they comment back. If you like single family houses, drop a comment below. Throw some hate out there. Just be happy that you're watching the video. But I just wanted to give you guys a little word of encouragement. If you're starting, whatever it is, a relationship, right? A lot of people get burned in a relationship and then they go, I don't want to start again. You just got to start. We've all had bad relationships, but were you doing everything that you could do in the relationship? That's always the question. Claiming personal responsibility for every situation. Were you doing everything you could? But I just thought I could take a minute here put something out there for you guys who are starting somewhere and not where you want to start with your money with your faith with your relationships with your business ideas with your body with your school you just got to start how did you feel when we were at starbucks and um and then you're like all of a sudden we like made a decision to start oh i'm feeling good right she was feeling good until she got to school (laughs) and then she didn't feel good but at least you're doing it you made a decision. You got to make a decision. You got to take action. You'll feel. You feel way better. Yeah. If you, did you feel good when you started your business? Once you're like, okay, I'm all in, and you committed. I was like, I committed. committed. I called Brett. I was like, Brett, this is what I'm doing. And I was like, all right, let's go. He yeah. said, let's go, Michelle. Yeah. She told me that, and I said, all right, well, just make us a meal so we can sit down and talk about it. Make us something good. I said, I said, okay, it sounds like this is serious. Can you make tacos? And then we're going to talk about this one. Like I said, taco. She's pumped up. But she started. She committed. Make a commitment to the things that you want to do. I'm just, I'm just wondering why people just don't commit. Why don't they go all in? I don't know. Why don't you, why don't people go all in, Britt? They should. You got to commit. That's what I always ask people. I'm like, are you coming in tomorrow? And then they go, ah. I said, that doesn't sound like a commitment. You gotta be committed to what you're doing. When I started the gym, no customers, no money, open it up, I was committed. And good things happen. I'm not saying it's always gonna be like that, but I didn't always have Division One athletes bringing me in apparel from their, from their new schools that I got to train and be a part of their journey. I didn't always have that. I was just a rookie too. But I want you guys out there who took the time to watch this, to commit to take action no matter what it is you're trying to do. Don't make excuses, get after it. If this video helped you a little bit to put you over the edge, let me know. If it didn't help and you think it sucked, dislike it, drop a comment, let me know. Either way, I'm just happy that you're watching the thing. So see you guys at the Top Shop, drop a comment, follow the YouTube channel.